everybody join na yes okay so let me explain this point please note this point very carefully family pension now how we need to write this is particulars column this is inner column 30 and 10 and this is 20000 ka outer column please consider this as inner column huh? oh sorry okay now see how we need to write first family pension how much we received 2500 into 12 Thirty thousand is the amount that I have received in my hand. This is written in the inner column. Why? Because something is exempted. See, it is not fully exempted. It is not fully taxable. Also, some portion is exempted. Now, how we will calculate? How how we will know how much is exempted? There are two conditions. There are two conditions. and you have to select least of them least means lower lower the lower of two will be selected for the exemption what are the two condition first actual amount 30000 actual amount is same here see whatever we have received is my actual amount if i received 50000 the actual amount will be 50000 if i received 10000 the actual amount will be 10000 so actual amount means whatever i received in my hand this is first condition this is a okay i will write it for your under better understanding and the second condition is one third of the actual one third of the actual actual amount was 30 30000s one third is 10000 10000 yes so the so the the least of the two will be 10 See, there are two amounts, thirty and ten. So the least one is ten. So thirty minus ten. Thirty is something that you have received. Ten is something that you are that is exempted. So thirty minus ten, twenty thousand taxable. Out of thirty, ten is exempted. So twenty will be taxable. So see if you don't understand. i mean you didn't if you did not understand please let me know i will repeat it once again see it's very simple first of all first step is whatever you have received write it in the inner column i have received 30000 write it in the inner column now exemption two conditions are there first actual amount whatever is received write it as first actual amount now second whatever is the actual take one third of that One third of thirty thousand is ten thousand. Now compare both of them, thirty and ten. There are two conditions, thirty and ten. Which is the lower one? Ten. So take it in the inner column. Deduct it from thirty thousand, and the taxable will be twenty thousand. Because out of thirty, ten thousand is exempted. So twenty thousand will be taxable. Okay. So write this. right complete this part i will wait you for wait for you all for 2 minutes uh, be quick huh write it in 2 minutes okay so let us shift to the, to the next point family pension is done and what is our next point next point is eighth point received interest on konkan railway corporation bonds see it is always remember it is railway corporation bond just like you have post office saving bank account no interest from post office saving bank account is always exempted same way uh, konkan is the name of place anyways let's not relate let's not uh, focus on what is the place given here let us focus on railway corporation bonds so it is just like we have a post office saving bank we have a railway corporation bonds it is fully exempted so we will write a note for this received interest on ppf kept at state bank of india can you tell me now this is third time that we are doing the same point it is fully exempted exempted very good exempted very good very good next point next point is always next point is also fully exempted do you remember the exempted chapter chapter number 3 any amount that is received from lic is fully exempted 
section 10 sub section 10 d received a lic policy amount on maturity of the policy of mr koki of of uh, mr kiran more rupees 3 lakhs remember whatever amount is received from lic life insurance corporation it is a public sector company insurance company government company and the amount is fully exempted so we will write a note received private tuition fees now he is giving a private tuition also 15000 rupees and the expenses 2000 expenses incurred for giving tuition fees is 2000 is it related expenditure yes so it will be deducted write down private tuition fees is fully taxable write down private tuition fees inner column 15000 private tuition fees inner column 15000 next line less expenses related less expenses related inner column 2000 bracket so 15 minus 2 how much is taxable 13000 13000 is taxable very good received winning in the horse race 4000 Is it exempted or taxable? Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am. Taxable. Yes. Shubham, tell me. Shubham, are you calling me? कौन बोल रहा है शुभम की आवाज थी ना बोलो शुभम क्या हुआ? Ma'am, a uh, private tuition fee तो बिज a uh, profession से हो गया ना ma'am? नहीं 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 प्राइवेट ट्यूशन ट्यूशन फीस है ना वो उनका तो प्रोफेशन टेक्निकल डायरेक्टर वो तो वो तो काम कर रहे हैं ना किसी कंपनी में उनका तो मेन है वो जॉब करते हैं कहीं पे टेक्निकल डायरेक्टर हैं वो तो ट्यूशन फीस तो उनके लिए एक्स्ट्रा इनकम हो गई ना यस आया समझ में बाय प्रोफेशन वो प्रोफेसर नहीं है वो बाय प्रोफेशन वो प्रोफेसर नहीं है ठीक है वो तो टेक्निकल डायरेक्टर है किसी कंपनी के ठीक है तो वो तो जॉब करते हैं अगर वो प्रोफेसर होते और ट्यूशन फीस ले रहे होते तो वो उनका प्रोफेशन होता इनकम फ्रॉम प्रोफेशन इफ ही वाज अ प्रोफेशनल प्रोफेसर इफ ही वाज अ प्रोफेसर ओनली देन ट्यूशन फीस वुड हैव बीन काउंटेड एज अ प्रोफेशनल इनकम ओके बाय लुकिंग एट हिज प्रोफेशन इज अ टेक्निकल डायरेक्टर his profession is technic he is a technical director by his profession and he is working in a some company therefore he is doing a job and got it tuition fees is as an extra income because he is not a professor okay yes ma'am okay winning from horse race is fully taxable 4000 outer column So now tell me all points are done. Now tell me the final amount that is fully tax that is net taxable amount. Ma'am, eighty three thousand. Very good. It is eighty three thousand net taxable income from other sources. Eighty three thousand is net taxable income from other sources. Now all the points that are uh, left. we will have to write it as a note so second point if you remember agricultural income write down income from agricultural income is fully exempted income from agricultural uh, agricultural income is fully exempted next next we have fourth point interest from post office saving bank account is fully exempted you can write as one point also how see agricultural income interest on post office saving bank account dividend from indian companies interest on konkan railway corporation bonds interest from ppf account amount from lic policy r fully exempted all these points can be written as one point and you have to state that 
all these are fully exempted is it easy did you understand how we need to yes write? yes ma'am okay so we are done with the chapter all all the points are covered subletting income is covered and uh, uh, what to say exempted incomes are covered dividend from dividends incomes are covered interest incomes are covered winning from horse race winning from crossword puzzles winning from lottery these incomes are also covered board meeting fees is also covered and we have a family pension is also covered so all the points of income from other sources are covered so we are done with the chapter in the next lecture we will start with another chapter that is section 80 ma'am yes ma'am uh, jo aapne pehle ke chapter slides se karwaye to exam mein us slide se padhna hai ki sirf pdf se isko स्लाइड्स में से भी पढ़िए पीडीएफ में से थोड़ा बहुत जितना मैंने आपको बताया है वो पढ़िए ठीक है स्लाइड्स में पूरा नहीं पढ़ना है नहीं नहीं पीडीएफ में से पूरा नहीं नहीं पीडीएफ में से पूरा नहीं ठीक है ना जितना मैंने आपको लेक्चर्स में कवर करवाया ना उतना ही पढ़िए ठीक है और मैंने सभी कवर करवाया है अपने अपने टेक्निक से ठीक है ना तो आपको इतना रीडिंग देने की जरूरत नहीं है लेकिन हाँ आपने जो अभी लेक्चर्स में सुना है आप रिकॉर्डिंग सुनेंगे ना तो आपको मतलब रिवीजन हो जाएगी रिकॉर्डिंग्स पे भी ज्यादा ध्यान दीजिए और और पीडीएफ पे जो सॉरी सॉरी पीपीटीज पे जो मैंने आपको दी हुई है पीपीटीज और लेक्चर रिकॉर्डिंग सुनोगे तो आपको रिविजन हो जाएगी और एम में वो ही काम आएगा ठीक है क्योंकि जो हम क्लास में पढ़ रहे हैं वो ही एम के फॉर्म में पूछा जाएगा इज इट क्लियर Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we will continue in the next lecture. Meanwhile, you please keep revising. Okay. You have a very few days left for your examinations. So start revising. I hope you have already started revising. If not, please do it from today. Okay. It will be better for you all. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we will start with the next chapter in the next lecture. and the and the, and the chapter is section 80 we will complete very very small chapter we will complete that chapter in the next lecture okay bye ma'am okay bye everybody take care